Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to manually install the Windows 11 24H2 update. So as of right now, 24H2 is not finalized, so it's in the Insider edition of Windows and not the retail versions. But what we're going to do today is actually install 24H2 on a retail version of Windows. So by the time you're watching this, it might be out on the retail version and the process should still be the same. But we're going to try and actually upgrade this computer before it's actually ready to be upgraded. So of course, if you're doing something like this, do so at your own risk because you never know what's going to happen with these uh, insider builds. Okay, so this computer here, let's go to the settings. So this is 23H2 with this build right now. And so I got the ISO file from the Windows Insider Preview Downloads page. You just go down to the bottom, select your edition. So I'm going to do the dev channel for this example. Then you just pick your language. And then you should be able to download the ISO file. And then you could burn it to a flash drive or DVD if it'll fit. You might have to use a double-sided DVD if you're going to do something like that. So let me show you what happens if we were to boot from the ISO file to try and install it that way. Because it's not going to work. You're going to have to install it from within Windows. At least right now that might change when you do it. But let me show you what happens if you try and boot to it. So let me uh, restart here and we'll boot from the... Uh, ISO file. All right, booting from CD or DVD, even if it's a flash drive. Okay, so we have our language and our time format here. Keyboard settings. All right, so you can see our options here are to install Windows 11 or just do the typical repair my PC, which will take you to the troubleshooting options. So you can see here it says, please note your files, apps, and settings will be deleted. And you have to check this checkbox here to continue. So that's not what we want. So I'm going to restart back into Windows and then we'll try installing it from within Windows. Okay, so we're back in Windows and I have my ISO file here mounted, so you could mount it, you could use your flash drive, DVD, put it on a separate hard drive, uh, maybe even extract it onto the current hard drive. So I'm going to open it up here, and then run the setup exe. Okay, so now we have an option here, change how setup downloads the updates. I'm going to choose not right now, but you probably want to download some updates and drivers. So you make sure everything's up to date. And then I uncheck this too, because they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Click on next. And of course it's going to check the PC for the requirements, but if you already have Windows 11 installed, it should be okay. So agree to the terms here. Okay, so we have the default settings to install Windows 11 Home because that's what we're running and keep personal files and apps. But you could change that if you want to just keep your files only or nothing, but we're going to keep everything. I don't know why when you click on next, it has to go back to this part again, but we're going to click on install now. Okay, your PC will restart several times. This might take a while. So I'm going to pause the video and then be back when the installation is done. So there's not much to do after you click on install, except just wait for it to complete. There's not a bunch of menus or things you need to uh, click on to get to the next step. All right, doing some updates. All right, so we're at the login screen here. All right, so now we're gonna to have to go through this new user profile setup like you do for major updates. 
Well, it's not really a new user profile, but it's acting like it is one. All right, so we're on our desktop here, so let's go to the settings and see what we got. All right, so we're on 24H2, so you can see it worked out quite well. So there's not a lot to it. Like I said, you just need to install it from within Windows, at least right now. So I'm not sure if that's going to change when it's finalized, but that's how you could do it. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download the 24H2 ISO file, and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.